from Hey Birdie, my little mommyhood cleaning homemaking corner on YouTube. This is going to be the third video in this back to school series and I will throw some eyes in the sky up throughout this video in case you missed the last two videos. I just asked each of my big kids to grab a big trash bag and gather up all of the clothes that are damaged or outgrown or they just flat out don't like them and won't wear them this year. So they should be doing that now, or they should be finished doing that now. So I am going to head back there, go through and sort out and clean out their closets to get ready for the new school year. I am starting in Katie's closet by removing all of the clothes from her racks and the floor and I'm just going to throw everything on her bed. keep this section over here which is too tall for her to reach with all of her dance costumes and memorabilia type t-shirts that she doesn't wear on a regular basis.
exact same thing in Gavin's room, however, he keeps his closet much tidier than Tate does, so there's not much needed in here. I thought I would also clean off Gavin's Lego shelf as it's kind of getting out of control, so I thought I would get it all done at once. Oh my gosh, you guys, I got rid of a ton of clothes today. We have a lot to donate, some to give away to friends, and unfortunately, a lot that will have to be trashed as well. 
that was a lot of work. But now their closets are thinned out and tidy once again. I've purchased a few key items I noted they were missing in their wardrobe, mainly just PE stuff. Um, so before I wrapped everything up, I just wanted to share with you the things that we bought today. So believe it or not, the kids were actually really good on clothing heading into this year. So they really didn't need much of anything except for they both needed jackets, um, PE shoes, PE clothes, and socks. Everything else they were good on. So we did not purchase jackets today. One, because it stays summertime well into November, sometimes even December before we break like sweatshirts or anything like that out. So um, I'm not really in a hurry for those. So now their closets and their clothes are ready to tackle the new school year. Just got these socks, a size five, Under Armour. Here are those. I cannot believe my little boy's foot is this big. What the heck? These look like they're gonna fit me. And then Tate got these cute little socks. Then she got these as well. She likes the lower rise sockies. So she just went with these Nikes right here. And she is wearing a size 12 right now. Gavin just got this shirt. It says, uh, what does it say? Every play, every day. Got these PE shorts. They are Nike with the matching shirt. Gavin just got two pair of basketball shorts. I think they're both Adidas, yeah. Both Adidas. This one just has the stripes on the right leg. This one just has the stripes down the side. Then he got this Nike shirt. And that's it. They didn't need much. Oh, and these sneaker balls. Have you guys ever used these? I'm not sure if they work, but they are supposed to deodorize shoes, gym bags, and lockers. One of my children has a stinky foot problem. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever used these and if they work, if I should be excited for them or big fail. What is your favorite or least favorite part of the kids heading back into the new school year? Leave me a comment below. Hey, if you have enjoyed this video and I really hope you have, please consider clicking that subscribe button down below and then clicking that little bell icon right next to it will notify you anytime I post new videos. Then hit that thumbs up button and share with your friends. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and don't forget you can hang out with me here here and here. Have an amazing day and I will see you next time. Bye!